Hey everyone, today I'm going to show how to configure Jenkins in AWS environment. Before we begin, uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and thanks for all your supports. For this tutorial, you need an AWS account. Let's quickly talk about what is Jenkins. Jenkins is a continuous integration and continuous delivery tool. It's an open source framework. It provides a lot of plugins and these days so many companies used to build the applications uh, using the Jenkins. I'll show you how to create a Jen jobs also in the end of this demo. Okay, let's begin this. Uh, let's go to our AWS console. If you don't know how to create an AWS account or how to get into this, uh, there is another video I created earlier. Let's click on the EC2 instance. We are going to spin up a server. So you can choose whatever the uh, region you want it and click on the running instance. There are various ways you can spin up the EC2 instance and there is a launch instance button over there on the dashboard. If it's not, you can click on the running instance. You will see all the running instance over here and you can click on the launch instance from here. For this demo, I'm going to use the AWS AMI. Make sure that you select the free tier versions. For this demo, I'm going to use the default versions. <laughs> you can add the size up here. We'll add a 20 GB size, which is more than enough. We'll add a name. That's why I can identify which one is this EC2 instance. Jenkins server. Click on that. So right now I do have an SSH port is already open. So there's a warning you can see. I'll fix the warning in a second. So I'm going to add a few more other rules. I'm going to add 8081. And the trick is like you know it says that you know I'm going to select to my my IP address. So because I don't want anybody else to op uh, connect to this machines from anywhere else. <laughs> For this demo, I'm going to create another security group. It's called Jenkins SG. So Jenkins security group has right now two port is open which are like 22 and 8081 22 is for ssh into the machine 8081 is for the port to be accessed by the application when i say the application it's a jenkins show jenkins okay i'm going to restrict this for right now this for my ip address but you know you can choose if you want to open this for everybody to access it but i wouldn't recommend ssh okay so these are the summary of the EC2 instance, but we are going to launch for this demo. You can see there is two ports. Both ports are restricted for my IP address to access it. Nobody else can access this. I'm going to click launch. Okay, this is, I'm going to create a new key pair for this. The key pair is nothing but that will give you an access to that machine. Click on download, <coughs> that will download it. So now we are going to launch the instance. You can click on the launch instance button that will launch the EC2 instance for you. This takes a few seconds uh, normally, like maybe like you know, 10 seconds or 30 seconds, it depends upon that. So the Jenkins PM key um, is downloaded. Let's go and see the what is the status of the instance. Okay, it's pending right now. You can see the uh, IP address and the DNS name. Here. Still pending. As I mentioned earlier, it's take like you know, 10 to 30 seconds sometimes. Okay, it's running right now. So now we are going to open in a terminal. You can use in a terminal or I do have an item too. Let's do sudo sshs. I'll put this commands. All the commands I used on this tutorial will be on the descriptions. And giving a path to the PM file which I downloaded it. And not recommended to keep it the PM file on the downloads. You should 
keep it on a secure places ec2 user that's a default user copy the dns name and this is where you need to enter your password the password which you are entering is your machine password yes Now let's quickly see what is the Java version on it. Okay, there is no Java version. Uh, oh wait, uh, let's go to sudo and give it a try again, okay? Version, okay, Java version is not found. So I'm going to install um, JDK 8 on this, sudo em install and press Y. The Java 8 will be installed on that S machine. Java minus version. Okay, you'll see that version is 1.8.0. So now we need to uh, get the Jenkins and add it to the repo. Let's get the Jenkins to your machine. So that's been added. So when I was initially trying it, I had to add a key. That key didn't work first time. So I uh, forgot about the previous messages, but you know, you need to do this command, sudo rm import the key and then go forward. So now the Jenkins is installed. So I'm going to start the Jenkins, sudo service Jenkins start and also you can look at the Jenkins file. Sorry, it was low fast but I'm just going to open it again. So you see this Jenkins port is 8080. So the default port is comes with 8080 and but we have an 8081, right? So I'm going to change that. I'll do both ways first. First let me go and add an 8080 or let me open the port 8080 on the security group which we created it so you can click on the jenkins sg or you can there is the left side you can click that security groups go up there and edit the inbound roles uh, uh sorry i think it's not 80 uh it has, you need to add a custom tcp rule say 8080 and uh, this one also I'm going to keep it with myself uh, when I say myself is my IP address save the roles so 8081 is enabled make sure to save the roles okay so now I'm going to say it's a name and 8080 okay so now this is a um, trick part you need to unlock the Jenkins Copy this line, the path, and go back to your terminal and assess the machine and do a cat and or you can do VI2. Copy that the password, enter the password back here. Click continue. So there is two options install suggested plugins or select plugins to install. I will just do the default plugins. This takes another few more seconds. Thanks for still staying with me. We're almost there. Okay, so I'm going to create an admin user. I'm going to keep the admin admin. Keep the password is all the same, but you know, you can keep whatever you want. Admin, and I'm just going to put a junk email address, you know, put your wallet, company email address, or whatever the address is, email address you wanted. And click on save and continue. Uh, 
Okay, so this is a Jenkins URL. This URL is nothing but whatever you see on the top with the port number 8080. Okay. So the save and finish. Jenkins is ready. Start using the Jenkins. So let me give you a quick walkthrough about this Jenkins. You will see on the left side, you will see a couple of options. New item and uh, people, bill history, manage Jenkins and my views, credentials and various other things. Manage Jenkins is one of the uh, may, may do you need to be familiar with. Configure systems and okay, let's quickly go to the configure system. You have a GitHub API usage and everything. You can configure here. And also, this is what I mentioned that you know, you have a managed plugin. So sometimes you know people say, oh, install this plugin and it will going to work. So this is where you'll be going for that. You can see what are the available plugins. I think it looks like my internet is a little slow, but you know, this will come up in a second. Uh, or you can search it. When you search it, you'll see all those available plugins. And you can also see another tab, what are the install plugins. Okay, these are the default plugins, you know, if you remember the options which we choose and uh, install the default plugins. Okay, so let's quickly create a test jobs. And uh, so these days, you know, there are various options you have it. Let's create a pipeline job. Create jobs, you'll see the configurations, click on the save. So now if you go back to the Jenkins, you can see the test jobs. Let's click on this, build now. Preload the page and you see the build history, click on the one and see the console and you will see the options. Uh, now before we stop this session, let's quickly go back and you know, change the port number 8080 to 8081 and see because you know, we already have 8081 is also open. Let's quickly go there and you know, change that to 8081 and restart. And you need to say sudo service Jenkins restart. Okay, so 8080 is down now, but 8081 is up. It's the same username, admin admin. Just give it a sign with sign in. Okay, you'll see the same jobs here. And thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.